the, I mean, for Lee, the, the path was, you know, essentially, uh, you know, a, a, somebody who really understood the data and understood the EMR. And then they said, Hey, why don't you become the CMIO and help us to implement this? He implemented it. And then he became, Hey, why don't you, we'll put you over analytics because you seem to get analytics. And then he just kept learning and, and growing into the role. Do you see that? I mean, is that generally what has happened? And do you see that transforming into a more uh, disciplined path where people actually get degrees and, and move into it? Sure. So a couple of things. One, um, that was an organic progression. That's, you know, my story as well, really, um, you know, it happened organically. Um, um, when, when I talk to clinicians now, the first thing I ask them, I ask them a question, are you running from something or are you running to something? Because if you're running from something, this probably isn't going to work for you. But if you're running to it because you really want to embrace it, then, you know, let's keep talking. Um, so, you know, kind of the pathway, the, the domain knowledge is there. Um, you can be a physician assistant, you can be a, uh, a nurse, a nurse practitioner, a pharmacist, a, a dietitian, physician, a clinician, you have that domain knowledge. You know how a hospital works, you know how the ambulatory environment works, you absolutely have that. That's gold. That is, you know, that will get you a majority of the way there. Um, a lot of the tools we use are, are, develop, are based on uh, having some programming knowledge. So you got Python, you've got R, there's a few others out there. You have to be able to, you know, uh, amp those skills up. Um, and on the math side, we're all pretty well versed in that. If you think about, um, you know, clinicians education, pretty good with math, pretty good on the statistics side. Yes, there'll be a need to, to brush up on that. But I would say that um, uh, the computer science side is really the um, area that we need the most focus on. There's some pretty good programs, Bill, that you can audit within the Coursera environment. Uh, and that's where I would start. And the reason I, I say that to folks is before you start, you know, spending, um, you know, tuition dollars and so forth, um, take a look at, you know, what you're getting involved in. Um, and so you can make a really good choice, you know, based on your interests and, st and so forth. This isn't going to be something that you can, you know, jump in. It's not going to be easy. It's going to take some discipline and, and rigor. Um, but, you know, the transition is absolutely there.